What up, Z Nation, Daily Xander 319. My one and only update of the night is going to come to you right now. Being 11.30 at night, just a recap of my day. I ended up sleeping in because I went to bed around 4 in the morning after a late night podcasting session. Didn't get up. Well, I got up around 8 and 9, but I wanted to sleep in a decent amount. I actually slept in until right about noon, and I got ready. I did like about a quick 10-minute outdoor meditation before I went to hospice for two hours. From one to three, I was at a hospice, and I had a really interesting conversation with a lady who had bone cancer and just spending about an hour with her and keeping her company and chatting with her and actually watching just television with her it was certainly interesting to say the least and I, I, I certainly got a lot out of it and it just uh, continually reminded me to do things that I want to do and cherish my time when it goes towards and afterwards believe it or not I came back to my apartment and then (laughs) I ended up just wanting to spend more time in my own thoughts so I just lay down on my my couch and set my alarm for about 30 minutes because I just wanted to have 30 minutes of my own time to think without any distractions and such. And I actually ended up falling asleep probably 20 minutes afterwards. And I woke up about an hour and a half later. And upon that, I just grabbed some dinner and then and did my educational sessions, being listening to audios and even several videos that are tied to mentorship application that I'm using and one of them was a head football coach at one time of Auburn Tigers who won a national championship in 2011 I want to say but he was given a leadership speech about an hour and it was really neat to listen to it as he was relating his experiences with football to business and just goes to show you there's heaps of similarities between the two activities. And I read two chapters of two different books and finishing up uploads right here. It takes a little while. I figured out why also my phone was being slow with uploading. If I want to use personal hotspots because I wasn't using my LTE. I was using 4G and 4G is quite slow so I can't imagine what 3G. 3G's got to be <laughs> real slow. So those were just some quick updates, just for my day. And then also interacting with people at hospice, interesting people I talk to and such. And right after this, I'm gonna do my daily message I'm sending out to my mentor and just getting stoked for what is going on in my future and going from there. So always reminder, both me but to anybody else watching just always know that you are important you matter and because of that you need to surround your mind in positive thoughts positive ambitions positive ideas positive affirmations positive statements the list goes on and on but it's a positive list there's no naughty thoughts whatsoever as in naughty or nice is always positive 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 and making it happen. And getting stoked for this month. This month's gonna be a continual big part in the development of myself and my foundation as far as several events I got going on this month. First one being a leadership conference I'll be attending in Louisville, Kentucky. And then the following weekend and going to Atlanta, Georgia for a music festival and again just continue connecting with people telling them my story sharing and taking a genuine interest in what they have to say 
and living. That's what it comes down to. And being ambitious. Every single person I interact with add value to them. And from that, I will grow leaps and bounds. I will cross all of the hidden and seen valleys there are on this earth to lead me to a life where I'm not pillaging on the bottom of mountaintops, but I am dancing the tranquil motions of the human body that are capable on top of the pristine mountain top being triumph. Oof, the nightly thoughts are oozing with efficient, quick, witty, adroit thoughts. Loving it very much. And as always, I am extremely grateful for my health, my family's health, my ability to do what I do and continually grow. And extremely appreciative at the moment, the weather and where I live as far as it is hurricane season and not to be hit even last year, November, where Hurricane Matthews was supposed to come through the area and actually veered off so I'm very grateful for that and have positive thoughts that this next upcoming hurricane will not make way to my area and also other people's areas and it takes the least path that'll do the least amount of damage or it takes the path of to least amount of damage for sake of other people. All right, G Nation, I'm signing off. Daily Xander 319, a one tank, a wonder. <laughs> love it. Ooh. Peace, love, unity, respect, and wait for it, folks. Wait for it. Here you go. Oh, in the light, too. Oh. Passion from Waterside at Crane Roos. Catch you in the next installment. As always, have a tremendous, wonderful night. Take care.